Okay, we're going to do a review on the WowTac flashlight. It's the A4. Here's the box. And we're going to have Betty unpack it. Ooh. Boom. Nice. I like it. I like the weight of it. Mm -hmm. I like that it's not too big, the handle. Um, maybe wish it had one of those wrists, and it's just a girly thing, I guess, you know, for convenience. You know, instead of having to hold it in your hand and carry it, just put it around your wrist and carry it. Um, otherwise, I, you know, I hadn't turned it on. Obviously, it's daylight still, but I like it. It does have a good. I like it. It does it, have a good not bulky weight. You like can a carry this, Chris, for a long time, and it wouldn't wear you yeah. out. It's not bulky you know, like a regular flashlight. So it's flashlight. not going to weigh you down. Okay. So some of the things, some of the features, when I when I looked at the light and had a look at the specification on it, it comes with a uh, Cree light emitting diode, and pretty much any flashlight that's worth anything, in my opinion, is using a a, uh, a manufacturer called Cree. And uh, this particular one comes with, it's a, you know, we were talking about yeah, it. Yeah, we were talking about it. It's a special diode that basically uses, um, uses less energy, but the, the size of the actual diode has been reduced. So they're saying it's a high-intensity diode, and the diode being smaller in size uses less energy, and it burns brighter. So that's the trade-off. 2,000 lumens is what they're saying this goes up to. So uh, when the night comes, we're gonna when, try when the night comes, we're going to do the little bit of the uh, testing here and a comparison. But it doesn't stop there. Okay, as in with everything else, you need to know the batteries that it uses. Okay, uh, it uses uh, the WildTac ship their their batteries also, so we're using them, and these are fully charged batteries with the micro USBs on them. And right there, and it's right there on the side, Let's right there. So look, so hold that and feel that and see what you think oh, of it. Oh, wow. Just hang on, hang it. on. So that's how you charge them right there. <laughs> yes, you can charge it with a, uh, you know, like a brick, like a brick charger. Yeah. It's like what you use for your cell phone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Now the flashlight uh, has another feature on it that they had on their website. Uh, it has reverse polarity. So it doesn't matter how you load the batteries in there. If you goof it up because you're in a hurry or whatever, you know, it has reverse polarity, forwards, backwards, it's gonna run just fine. And you can't see okay. it because you're old. So that's what it looks like going in. It's all aluminum. And if you wanna come in a little closer, I'll show you a little bit closer what the diode looks like. Okay. All right, that's the diode on it. Nice button, nice overall What's feel. It, how heavy is it without the battery? Let without the battery? Wow, really the batteries. Yeah, we the batteries are lighter weight than I thought they were. Yeah, did. the manufacturer yeah. has it listed. The manufacturer listed heavy? it in grams. Yeah. Uh, in grams and millimeter, but uh, we 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 weighted it at the house and we put it on scale and it came up to be like 6.6 .6 ounces, something like that, if I remember right. So, it was not heavy. So, what would you use this for, Betty? You know, let's say it. Oh, oh and it also uh, retails for uh, for I'm just going to make it very simple. Retails for fifty dollars, so it's forty nine like uh, ninety five or something like that. You can get it on Amazon, and you can go to the manufacturer's website, which we will will put on their yeah, website. Well, well, I would think anybody that's out in the woods that needs what would you use it for, Betty? Camping, hunting, squatting. <laughs> um, put it in your truck for emergency. Emergency, yeah. If you, you break have down a, at you night, know, mm -hmm. uh, because it. It, it's going to glow. I mean, we'll see that tonight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anybody that stays out in the wood, anybody that camps, anybody that fishes at night, um, that's better than carrying, you know, a, a bigger flashlight that's bulky. That'll fit in a, a knapsack very well. And I'm shaking it right now, so you see, you know, it's fairly snug. The batteries aren't moving around. Feels pretty decent in your hand. And uh, but that was my that was my really only thing that I would say to improve upon was just maybe make this area for the hand a little thicker, a little more brawny. 
yeah. uh, to where you can grip it. I'd like a little, a little bit more girth in the handle, but that's simply because I have a lot. Yeah, of and if they, if they were to make that yeah. thicker and there, it would, ridge yeah, on there, you'd it would do that. that. Yeah. yeah. So you know that's the only thing. Oh wait a minute, what is this? Oh my gosh, you can put, yeah. a, what is it called, a, a lanyard? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, you could put it right there. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Looking at this water, Chris, there, I'm not putting it in that dark It's submersible water. to two meters, folks, and we will be we will be doing a submersion water test So, uh, so when we bit. get when we get our monsoons, when we get stuck out, when we're swamping and with for Bigfoot, this will work great. Yeah, now some of the things that it has as well, it has, uh, like I said, it was as 2,000 lumens is the uh, turbo part of it. It has a, has a um, you're looking for Bigfoot? I'm actually looking for Mr. Gator. <laughs> uh, it, you know, uh, a, low a low, medium, high turbo and strobe is what it has. And it also has a very low level for reading. So as the night comes along we're going to do those tests and things like that and we're also going to throw it in the creek tonight as well and we're going to do that test and we'll fish fish that on out of there yeah. also and we'll go ahead the angry woman right darn <laughs> impact and mark mark gets mark can toss it in the creek or um. just you go so you know we'll just be, just like anybody else. We'll go along the trail and, and then you make a slip or you hit a root and, and something I, flies and I, out of your hand. And and my there flashlight, it goes. yes, because that In happened order. the last time we were Should out. We, so we'll comply with uh, the manufacturer's uh, recommendations and what they say the product can endure, and uh, that's what we'll put it through tonight when we go out here doing a little bit of squatching. So uh, awesome. Can't it's wait. Gonna be, it's going to be a Come cool, on, dark. cool light. None Let's of you, dark. none of y'all pushed the button. Oh, and I forgot to well, tell you right here. Well, the button to me, Chris, and we're going to find out at night. It's a very okay, so sublime we'll, button. And yeah, so push it. Yeah, okay, see, I, it, I, see that right there? Can you see the zoom, Betty? And it's or got about a little, the little light. light on it. Yeah, the light. I forgot to talk about the and light. That'll, that'll that'll show up good at night. I'm used to having a big old raised button on my mm -hmm. flashlights so let's see how this feels at night okay yeah. I'm sure it'll be okay you can feel it and uh, the, it has a little light on it so yeah, basically so it, it tells yeah. you the strength of your battery power you know so as it, it you know it's it blink it basically blinks once it gets down to like 80 percent and then when it flashes red you're like down to your last 10 percent so in other words you know you need to, to get it changed and um I don't know if I said what the batteries were. I'll go back and say the battery. The battery model number uh, is my favorite battery model number. But in my opinion, uh, yeah, 18650 if I remember right. But in my opinion, uh, these are the absolute best batteries to use this type of uh, series uh, in flashlights. They're just it's simply an awesome And that battery. was sent to us just like that, and they asked us to take a look at it. Yeah. They asked us to, uh, uh, WildTech asked us to do a review on it. Yeah. Big footing, whatever you want to do, and you can see if you guys think you got a print, and I hope I don't get snagged by whatever's in that dark water. I'm, right there. I'm a little leery about it. Uh, so you basically take your light along the edge, and you're able to put it on the edge, and you're able to see the print a little bit easier. Okay, now this is probably low, but you see what I'm talking about right yeah. here? Yeah, yeah, you can see it. So you it's raised. Yeah, so you drag it along the edge and you want to be able to create shadow effects. Mm -hmm. And you're able to see the print a little bit more defined as you could shining your light directly at it. See yeah, if yeah, it yeah. washes it all out like yeah. that. Yeah, kind of gives it a 3D image. Yeah, and so with the flashlight, that would be, put it right here, that's going to be the next level. Mm -hmm. And that's the high level, mm -hmm. okay? So that's very bright and it's really blinding my eyes right now. Ooh, very bright. So let's turn it back on and I'm going to take it back down to the low setting. High and that's the low right there. Okay. Alright, now this also has a, so if it would be totally dark, what you could do is you could just hold the button down a little bit more, right, like this, mm -hmm. and it comes on to the lowest setting right here. Which is what they called reading? This is, yeah, this is the reading, what they said it was the reading, and you're able to see prints as well with that at night. Or, you know, another thing, it's very low light. You can put it in your tent and mm -hmm. read your book or whatever. Mm -hmm. Not bad. You can shine it in your face. It's not bad. No. You can put it like that and you're good to go like mm -hmm. that. And you can see prints with it. That's bright. Yeah. Yeah. Now that looks like that's high right there. Yeah, that's high right there. All right. So Is that a hog just now? Or a bird? Oh, check it out, Betty. Right, you can see the spider. 
Oh, wow. The look web, at it. The web has been sitting there the whole yeah. time. Look at that. Yeah. You couldn't tell without the light. No. Shoot pretty it at neat. an angle. The spider's not happy, but. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Yeah. This would be, uh, now it's not completely dark just yet, but it would be, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell people that, you know, hey, give it to your children because the light can be very, the light can damage their eyes, but if your children are all a bit older, you know, you can yeah. give it to them just to play with, you know. And, well, you people know, go it, camping. Yeah, I mean, if that's... you go camping. It looks like it's going to do real well on the performance test when it gets darker in probably about another 20 more minutes. And uh, I think it's going to do well. I'm, uh, I like it so far. It's, I think it's going to do good. So we'll see. And we're going to get into a spot where we can shine it down the creek when it's nice and dark and black. So what we're going to do on this test is we're going to go into dense jungle-like conditions and we're going to have this flashlight with us as well. All right, so let's turn it on. Yes, that's way a little better. Bit, it's a little oh, bit goodness, bright. It's pretty goodness. bright for my eyes. I'm going to tone it down some. All right, that's the low setting. And let's put it on medium. All right, so let's just follow me in here. And basically, you're trying to shine a lot to where you don't want to step on any snakes. Okay, I don't see any snakes. I'm going to go in here. So as you can see, okay, so as you can see, um, the, how the light is on medium setting right now, and this is inside dense vegetation all around me. All right, so we're going to crank it up just a little bit more. And okay, turn it on, it's low. All right, there it is, and let's get it up a little higher. Oh, all nice. right, and that's high. All right, so as we get down, that's what it looks like down here as we're coming in high. High setting. All right, and let's hit it with the turbo. All right. All right, there's how dark it is. All right, so let's say you come over here. All right, if you could follow me, please. You come over here and you're looking for something. Let's say you're looking for something, you're over here, and see all around me right now, okay? Still very dense, but you want a nice, clear, crisp light to go up into your tree. Because maybe you're one out there, and maybe you saw an owl, or you hear something, a uh, Sasquatch hanging around, whatever the case may be. You want to shine your light around, and there you go right there. And that's just on high setting right now. The light looks good to me so far. I like it because the it's not really diffused a whole heck of a lot. It's very centered focus, even way up to the top of the trees. Pretty good. So let's hit it with a little bit more power. All right, that's 2,000 lumens right there. And you can clearly see all the way up into the treetops very well. Right there, see? Very nice. All the way over there across the creek. I mean, way over there way over there it's really nice so i do like the throw beam on the light it's doing well so let me take it back down so we can get the power consumption down a little bit here all right so we're back down to the low setting i'll get it back up just a little bit more and then that's that was that so i um uh, i do like i do like that part on the on the light the beam uh, in my opinion was very focused very narrow and um, when it gets a little darker we're going to make a comparison I have other lights out here with me to do a comparison so let me turn this one off and this one right here is my trusty one that I've always carried around um, and I normally have it always with me and it is a is a Phoenix and I have a four sevens Maelstrom also that we'll use to do comparisons as well but this is my little pocket one. As you can see, the diff it's more diffused, right? That's the highest setting right here. Okay, see? Did you notice the difference? See, the, the throw on, on the PD-35 model is very much more broad. It's more broad, and as you can tell right there, 
all right but you'll be able to see more when you go in distance see way out there in distance the splash is much more broad on this particular type of light as opposed to that one right there see see you can punch through a little bit better with that one beam is more focused more narrow not bad at all pretty good so you could definitely spot animals and critters and bigfoot anything lurking about poking looking at you having a look pretty good i like it so far all right so now the moment that everybody's been waiting for we got a little bit of uh, darkness right here and we're going to do the uh the the comparisons of the lights so we'll introduce them to you this is the wild tech uh, a4 right here mark has show that one nice there now that's the uh, four sevens Maelstrom uh, S18 model. Yes. That one is an expensive <laughs> light, and it is a man's flashlight. Yeah, look at this. Betty no, doesn't like it. No but, ladies, but no. I like this one. Yes, yeah. yeah, this you're holding on to something here. Yeah, that that one's heavy. It's a lot more expensive. This one was for fifty dollars, remember? And that one normally resells for more than two hundred twenty-five dollars. That light's been out on the Bigfoot Trail with us also, yeah, it has and been. we love that light as well. Mm -hmm. But big difference, this one's a whole lot lighter. It's a whole lot lighter. Okay, so this is what it's all about, comparisons and what can the light do for you. All right, so we got a nice dark area right here, and we're right on the water's edge, so hopefully <laughs> we won't get snagged. Okay. Or fall in. Or trip on a root and fall in. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, uh, you can open up with yours, Mark, and ditch the light. Turn off your light right there. There you go. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, so that's the uh, 4 7 S18 uh, lights, 1200 lumens. All right, and then this is the, the WildTac light right here, okay? So we're going to do a comparison. You notice the beams right here? Hang on. Much more narrow of a beam. Way more narrow of a beam. Yeah, it's a more narrow beam. Okay. And Mark, found yours over there? It's not coming on. Oh, there Very we go. Good. See how it's, that one's more diffused, it's more spread out, and see there is a difference between them. Yeah. Right there. That's the S12. Okay, I'll turn it off. Chris? Wow. Right. Now see, that's down there, that's almost 100 yards going way down there. Now this is turbo, okay? That's 2,000 lumens right here. I got to say. I like it. it it's awesome. I like it. It's impressive. You can see, you can see owls, I mean. It almost creates like look a spot-like effect. Look at this. You know, it's way down, you can see way down and look, follow me over here if you could. Look at that, way over here. Hold on, let's not go get snake bit, but check this out. See, look at this. Come over here. See that down there? So if somebody's in your party... Okay, and, let me zoom in there back there. All right, so if somebody's thinking that they see some red eye shine, like, hey, man, I saw some red eye shine. There's a, there's a Bigfoot over there. And, you know, you're thinking maybe he's getting a little too close on you. So, you know, your light, your light, whether you realize your light's your defense, your defense weapon out there just by hitting them with a light. And you will be able to see something do a tuck and duck. Well, let's do let's do the 1200 lumens. Okay, go right ahead, I'm tooting it off. See the 1200 is more oh, diffused. More diffused, has a wider area, but it's not quite as bright, but it's still a good shine. Mm -hmm. And that's the high beam right here. And we're gonna, we're gonna oh, there's something twinkling down here. See that spider mm -hmm. on the edge? You see that light right there on the edge? Yeah. That's a spider. Okay, we're going to hit the turbo. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. That's nice. You see them twinkling now? Yeah. That's great for filming. You see all those little spiders on the edge down there? This is an awesome. This is an awesome flashlight. I got to see that. I like it. You see all the spiders on the edge right here? Yeah. You see all those little twinkly lights? Let me zoom in, please. Those are all spiders. Everything that you see, a little... Uh, light that's flashing like that. Those are twinkly. There, that's the reflective light of the spiders. See on the edge. Look at that. They look greenish. I don't know how they're showing on camera, but that's what they look like. It's awesome. See them on the edge. Look at that. That is cool. See them over here. Look at that. I like it. 
I like this light. I give it this a, light a kicks a butt. Up. A 10. Got to see that light kicks butt. Really nice. All right, now Mark gets to have some fun with the light right here. <laughs> um, all right, we're fixing to do the water uh, submersion test. Manufacturer says the light can go down to two meters and it's waterproof and it should be able to function. Have it so, on the string. Exactly. Ready? So you go. We're gonna Ready? we're gonna just toss it in the water there, and it is running. It's on high power right now. That water is dark. That man. water is Look dark. At that. <laughs> that water is majorly dark. Look at that. And I'm like, holy. Okay, and there we go. Let's good. toss it in again. I like that little light. That's nice for 50 bucks, man. Oh, uh, you can't beat it for that price, That's Chris. That cost? Yeah. 50 Hello. bucks. That's worth it. And the little power light. And look, it's see the power light is still power running. Lights on. See the power still. LED still on there. Okay. And boom. There so let's go. take let's cycle it through. Let's take it to uh, high beam and strobe one more time. Yeah, you can do it. And uh, so we're going to see how it's going to function afterwards. Still, still good. I like it. I like what I'm looking at. Okay. That's the 2000. That's 2000 lumens right here. You can oh my gosh, really, really well. And this is strobe. That, see, there's strobe right there. Yeah. What would you use the strobe for, Chris? Just for our viewers. I would think that you're going to use strobe to signal some type of distress or to uh, or, run off, run off wild yeah, animals. Yeah, run off wild animals. Yeah. All right. So you know, you got your flashlight. You know, everybody's chit-chatting around the campfire. Beautiful campfire right here, having a good time. I'm shoving on my sit. What the heck? You freaking knocked the light I'm down. I'm sorry. Oops. <laughs> All right. So that's just typical impact test. So mm -hmm. Mark comes through and steps on yep, it. Flashlight gets knocked off and typical brother sister stuff and look we'll see if it turns back on. Ta da! Turns back on. And that's something. Let's do it one more time. Alright. Take it from the upper. Hey, brother. I don't know what you're doing. Oh. Ah. oh. Now that one was Chris. a little bit harder right there. <laughs> Uh, so let's see. I heard that crack right there that time. So let's see if it Betty, does. That's not an angry woman drop. <laughs> and the light comes back on. I can get angry. Yeah. I like it. Thumbs up. Fire Two thumbs test. up. Fire test. But I got to say though, overall, Ooh. Um, I will say this. Overall though, the beam is very concentrated and very powerful. I will testify to that also. I think everybody. It's I a like good. It. It's a good flashlight. For Everybody cool all that. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would buy it. Yep. So what activities would you guys? Oh man, it's like a welding light. Look. So what? What activities? Hiking, camping. Hiking, search, camping, hunting. People search, who hunt. Search and rescue. Um, you know? Yes. Fishing. In your uh, car when you break down. Night fish. So mm -hmm. Night fish. Yeah. I think it's a, I think it's a keeper light. It did real well, and we just tossed it right on in the water too, like two or three times there, and it worked out good. I think it's a pretty good light. Fifty bucks. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is going to wrap up the uh, the review of the WildTech A4 flashlight, 2,000 lumens. We'll we, have we'll have the website posted. And we give a thumbs up. Four. Do thumbs we get, up. Yep. Three thumbs up. And we'll have it posted on the website. Okay, thank you.